Welcome back to the East Circuit, the only way to turn up your weekend. Ah, to me to kuchesa ngoma ingine apo kali sana. She goes by the name of Sunlight Ingabire. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Dorcas, all the way from Rwanda. Yeah. Welcome to the East Circuit. Thank you so much. But it's sunny for short, yeah? Yeah, uh, Sunlight, it's my real name and it's Omo, uh, you all know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I use the Sunny as a uh, media name, yeah. You got into the game, the music industry, all the way back in 2015? Yeah, 2015. That's when you did your first uh, single. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that, uh, getting into the game in Rwanda. Uh, it was really hard, you know. Mm. Um, it Is was the my first back time there to difficult to get into the music industry. Uh, it's not difficult to get in. Mm. It's you just need to understand what you are doing, and you need someone who understand it. I was um, alone, and I got somebody to help me to go to a studio. But after I record the song, I thought you just put in the radio and they, they play the song. Mm. <laughs> so everything was supplies. Uh, also, I tried the TV. And then, then there is a way to pay promotion. There is a way the song is not good. There is a way. So it's always the same. There's always something. Yeah. Okay, there's a conversation going on right now in Kenya. Mm -hmm. But clearly, from what you're saying, uh, it's everywhere. Mm, it's not I just know, in Kenya. it's really everywhere. So, what does world. it take to break into the market uh, from someone who's seen both markets, Rwanda and Kenya? Uh, I've been uh, see this situation, but uh, since I'm in Kenya, I really hear the music. So, maybe there might be a problem. To me, I was thinking maybe there might be a problem for the musician. They do music, yes, they play it, but they don't make money. So then they might think they don't play our music. So maybe they don't get the show, they don't make money, that's why they piss off <laughs> a little bit. Okay, so mm. uh, how did it do, the 2015 track, the, your first debut single? Um, it, um, it was good mm. after I put out my video. Um, I went to interview i did the interview and then i tried to to perform around the city in the discos and some shows so to to know how it works everything was really hard for me but finally i make it and then i know how it works i start like this i make another song i make another song i make another song after i say okay so now i think i understand everything i'm going back to kenya and look where I can record my music and start go inside the media. And now come on as a Lisa, Kenya, uh, ulikuwa na jua watu? Kenya nilikuwa na jua watu, yes. Lakini, uh, si kuwa ninaelewa wapi pa kutengeneza mziki. Mm. Yani si kuwa na jua na watu wa media at all. Mm. So nilikuwa na jua na watu kawaida to. Marafiki. Eh, marafiki. Ninani uleza kupata kaku introduce kwa the uh, musicians, the producers, the mm, presenters? Kuna nyimbo nilifanya, halafu kuna um, picture mbae ilikuwa out. Nkiwa na um, celebrity mkubwa sana kutoka inje, mm. simsemi jina. <laughs> so ilikuwa out, halafu nikaitwa interview Tanzania. Kwa sababu picture? Yeah. <laughs> uh, ilikuwa kina mahali uko kwetu. Mm. So venye nilenda Tanzania, East African TV for interview. Nikaulizwa kila kitu because that time I was a model mm -hmm. and um, and then I they interview me so I get some Tanzanian contacts mm -hmm. and then I told them usually I live in Kenya do you know someone who uh, can so from those contacts you yeah got the from Kenyan those contacts. contacts yes and um, this guy called Lawiz I think mm -hmm. you guys you know him he's well known and then he gave me contact for studio and then I went to compound record it's where they make my two song i have now mm. yeah ah, nice uh, and new you. transition back home before we get into the kenyan market mm. uh, from being a model being a well-known model mm. now becoming a singer mm. uh, accept or listen Okay, so to answer to to say me pia bado ni muimbaji. Ama kwa sababu pale ni model. Ah bado wanaandika ga model um sani vi model cuz ni kwa na model in Thailand, Singapore 
I go to Indonesia, Malaysia, I was around there. And then I came back, but uh, you know, you can't stay in Asia like uh, permanently. It's a different world with the foreigners. Maybe unless you, well, even if you are working, some country they are like, since you work here, your contract to finish, you need to move. Mm -hmm. Especially when you look like, I don't want to say. <laughs> no, just <laughs> say it. Did you talk <laughs> once to say it for me? Okay, <laughs> actually, yeah, I would say that because um, I think it's good for Africans because most of the time black people get big problem outside when they are working. So most of the time it's really hard, no matter where you work, it depends, maybe if you are working for a huge company, you are making a lot of money, like five million mm. up, maybe that's okay. But if you are a hustler, you are working normal, it's, it's really hard, especially when you are a black person. Mm. So when your contract finish, the company have to make sure they move you to another country because somewhere they really don't want to see you. And then you need to be away for three, four years, you can be able to work again. So they don't want you to be uh, connected inside the country, maybe have children, maybe become mix mix. So they try to avoid that kind of situation. So the model industry is like really cutthroat. Oh wow, modeling industry is not easy things. You mm. know, I say it's same like in the music, but better music. Modeling industry, it's really hard. It's hard things. To, their money, you have to hustle. Mm. You don't just go and say I'm model now. And it does mean in the model you don't need to be beautiful. They look how patient you are and how hard working you are. So they can use you exactly how they want. So when you do better, then you are in. That's yeah. when you get the money. Yeah, that's where you get money. You need to know swimming, mm. uh, motorbike driver, car driving. Uh, so you you drive need to know a lot of well. things. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. <laughs> Even boat. You need to know a lot of things. So the more you know, mm. the more you get more work. Before you get back to the music, uh, <laughs> Instagram <laughs> is filled with Instagram models. What um, advice can you give them so that they uh, try to reach your level? Uh, Instagram models, uh, I see many because uh, I remember when I was there, I saw a model from here in Kenya. Uh, she came there, she have advertisement. So me, I was there and I really need to work hard. I don't get a job all the time. Mm. So and then me and my agent, I told them I will be here. I will stay here, I will work. I need to do extra job as well in the studio. People are making movie advertisement. I need to be there because mm. I don't want to stay for free. I pay ticket, visa, rent. It's all in your own. Mm. And sometimes some countries they want you to pay taxes. So you look how much you get, and then the taxes tax it's forty percent. Mm. Sometimes you're like, why don't we do it this way? Mm. So I come I'm out, out, in, out. So you take what you get, you put here in the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's always different, but um, mm. I would tell the model outside here to be always patient mm. and focus and listen what they told them and look what, what, what the other people really needed to do. Uh, you can imagine uh, like, what did she do to be who she? To get where she exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. So why can't I try to be like her or maybe even be better? Don't copy, just mm. do your own, mm. but do perfect. So you will get there. Awesome advice, awesome advice. Uh, guys back at home, upcoming <laughs> models, I hope may part your advice. Huh? So um, now back to the music. Uh, there's a song in here, Metoka Kucheza, before the interview began, mm. uh, featuring Bandana. Bandana, yeah. Tell me about uh, the experience meeting him and working with him before you get to the song. Um, well, uh, when I decide I look my music before and I look at the music, I'm like, what is this, <laughs> you know? I was like, mm, before I reach this level, what do I have to do? It takes me two years to, to think what I have to do and how I have to make my video. Unity, when I see my video, my song, I feel it's real music. So I contact this guy, I got this contact, then I went in the studio and I check on YouTube, I want a rapper and then I got bandana. So when I ask producer, where can I get this person? He had the contacts. And then we met, we organized everything, and then we make the song. It was just that simple. Yeah, that was so I could not believe, actually I even cried because I've been well without to make any song. 
and I see other people coming up, I'm like, why, why this happened to me? What's wrong with me? I really love to sing. It's my patient things I really want to. It's and a dream. Th yeah, it's my dream. And then I was like, no, I have to do something. Mm. So the day I was sitting in the studio and the the producer started to do the beat and then the guy say yes, I will come. Trust me. Uh when I start to record, mm. I I cry. I feel so sad. I was like, I can't believe I'm here again. Mm. I'm recording. And I'll say, that's it. I'm sure now it's, it's the time. Now is the time. Yeah. That's and I awesome. record that one. I yeah. record another one. They make a video for me. I say, wow, it's amazing. And mm. then I made another one. And today I want to continue to do more better things than more today. More music. Yeah. Uh, how was the reception back at home? Uh, did you take it back at home? Oh, the yes. The one um, featuring Bandana? Uh, yes, I just came from there for media tour, like yeah. uh, four days ago. They're yeah. no longer saying model slash singer? Uh, no, no more modeling. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a music now. Mm. So, And uh, I was really happy because everybody loved my songs. Let me tell you, Kenya, I see the situation in the music. Mm. But people love you, mm. really. People love you. People love your work. You do very good work. Mm. You are so professional. And um, I saw when they tell me your song, it, the mastering, the beat, everything is perfect. Mm. So everybody really loves it. And I really know how much they play the songs. They do play Kenyan song. Mm. But I think a Kenyan musician, they should try it when this is marketing. Trust me, it, it could be good because they play their song. Because in they Kenya we're getting Kenyan played. In, yeah. Uh, we, uh, we they know Kenyan music from there. They know oh. Plezos. They know they used to know this guy is top. Um, uh, Jagua. Jagua. Uh, there's yeah. even other people. This um, Otil Blount. Mm. Um, Who's your favorite Kenyan musician? Favorite? <laughs> That's a hard question. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> how can you say that? Mm. There's m there are many. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All we need is one. My favorite, uh, okay, let me say my favorite 218 was Otil. Uh, Otil Blown, yeah. Uh, why? Uh, the songs he the sings, songs yeah. Right, so. the, new, the, new the his new music mm. was really good. Mm. And uh, about love, everything, for the wedding, everything was super cool and he did very well. Mm. Yeah. Tell me about your uh, second uh, video, the, the solo. Uh, the second video um, in my stop, it's it's a stop playing mm. the song, yeah. yeah. Um, the producer Kash on Cash Kid, yeah, Cash Kid, he's yeah. the one who recorded it, and then I and he's the one who still recorded uh, the previous one yeah, with Bandana. Yeah, he's my producer, I think yeah. now. He's mm. really good. Uh, Are you planning to sign to with Cash with Kid? Him. I think so. Ah, that's awesome. Yeah, I still look So now you're, you're in Kenya permanently? Or will you yeah, go back to Rwanda? Yeah, I'm in Kenya permanently. Mm. Because I've been here 2007. Mm. Uh, all my jobs, everything I got was here. Uh, all my life. I would say my life was breathed by Kenya. So it's, uh, it's really easy for me to be here. And uh, this is where I grown up when I start to know about life. Mm. This is where I know flames. <coughs> this is where I have everybody I know. I know mm. in Kenya, I know everywhere. So that's where I stay. So stop playing the S reception. Stop playing. It's a um, song I made myself. Mm. I write it myself. Uh, it's, uh, it's a really story mm. of um, a girl. She used to love a partner. And the partner was married. And that partner I was kind of guy who liked to play music always. Mm. And he played love music. So it makes that woman fall in love with her. With the music. Yeah. Through because the music. Because through the music. And sh sh she used to tell me everything. And then I'm like, mm, but what do you do? Sometimes even I'm angry for her. So is this like a, a friend's <laughs> experience that yeah, you decided to put on a song? Yeah, it's a really story. Oh. Yes, it's a really story. So from did the my guy friends. finally stop playing? Uh, yeah, uh, the, the <laughs> guy. <laughs> no, it, she used to fight with him. Mm. Uh, you make me headache, you play music. 
Then one day I asked her, why do you like to do this? What's wrong? His music is quiet, cool. What's happened? Mm. What's going on in your office? And after she explained for me everything. Mm. And so the guy didn't stop, but after they sit down, they talk and... Came to an me, understanding. Yeah, so and after, mm. trust me, they love each other. And now they live together. Mm. Yeah. So something good came out of it. Exactly. Awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, where can someone find you online? Because I'm um, certain a lot of people are anticipating the yeah. good music that is coming through. Um, if you got me online or you get me to Instagram, uh, it's Sunny Rwanda mm. at 12, my official Instagram. Sunny Rwanda. Yeah. I and think you should change it to sunny Kenya, just speaking <laughs> as a fan. <laughs> no, I, I did the Rwanda because mm. I haven't stayed in Rwanda for a while. And I wanted them to know I am a musician who come from Rwanda. Yeah. Yeah, like a diaspora. So that's why I say sunny Rwanda. Otherwise, I'm sunlight Dorcas. Don't forget that. Mm. So sunny Rwanda, I mean sunny, no matter where I can be, in America, where Asia, here. So I am Rwandese. Yeah. So Sunny Rwanda everywhere, even on YouTube? Yeah, in YouTube, uh, it's Sunny Rwanda, you will get me. But uh, since I changed my music, I changed my YouTube channel also because um, I need uh, new music, new things, even.